so uh, we got a new purchase um, but I have worked on it a little bit I just didn't film none of it I don't know why I just just kind of you know Sunday fun day stuff um, I put a new jack on this trailer the jack that was on it was cracked and bent and all kinds of stuff uh, the wiring we gotta work on the wiring on the front but I nicked it with a grinder when I was taking all this stuff off um, but I put a new jack on there a bulldog uh, swing up jack and you can see the bead on her looks really good I dual pass this too so uh, I did it on all the vertical and I did put two on the underneath it um, and uh, put a front toolbox on it two locks on there um, I just screwed the toolbox down with some big fender washers and I welded on some pieces of rebar and put pins on there to be able to hold my cones on there and then I built a weed eater rack on here for the steel 56 uh, this trailer's got some really neat looking little hooks on here uh, they're locking hooks and I really like them so far um, but can't really do it one handedly uh, the tongue on it, I was going, to, I was contemplating cutting it off and changing it, the uh, the hitch, but I decided that I'd be all right. So we're just gonna leave it on there. Like I said, it's got to redo the wiring. I added some stuff that I needed on here. This is a five and a half by ten trailer. Uh, those ramps are off of an old trailer that we we used to have, and I'll get to the story here in a second. It's got an oak deck in it. Uh, it's got. Um, Oh, uh, mobile home trailer axles underneath it and tires. So the the trailer is built like a brick shit house. Um, I mean, it's heavy duty stuff. Uh, the I beam um, and the tires are real heavy on there. I'm replacing the lights on it for LEDs. Um, I'll get to the gate here in a second, but uh, gonna replace the lights for LEDs. But this gate. Somebody has chicken shit welded this thing all over and it is cracked in two places and bent and you can tell it, you can move it a lot. It's cracked up here, right there, and it's cracked down here where this gobble gook weld is there. Um, I did stick the uh, mower on it yesterday. I picked it up yesterday, I just hadn't had a chance to do a video on it. Um, and, uh, I stuck the mower on it. pulls good with the mower on it. Um, it stays behind the truck really good. I got it about 65. Seemed like it didn't go too far. Um, but I'm going to have to do a lot of work on this gate. So what I need is a little more length to it. So my mower will go up on it. Because on flat ground it will not hardly go up on the trailer. But on you know this hill right here I laid the gate down and backed off of it. I still gouged the ground out. Um, so I'm going to have to add some extensions add some extensions to the gate with those I'm going to cut out the straight parts of those and put on there and I'll show you what I mean once I get ready to start doing it um, but the crack in this you know, gate I don't want to add too much more to it so I'll see what we can come up with um, got tons of hooks on there I mean this thing, this trailer really is built like a brick shit house um, which is really impressive and for the price of it, I we I couldn't hardly turn it turn it down. And I'm needing a trailer to haul my mower on, so I just basically uh, thought this would be a good fit. I made these little um, weed eater holders, and you're wondering what the hell this is. This is actually a key, because on that 56, and I'll show you once I get the weed eater on here. It sits in here. And there's a little notch out here, and uh, what happens is without that little key in there to keep it from turning, it'll flip the whole weed eater upside down. So I put that little key in there and it works pretty good. I put two pins, but what I'll do is I'll actually get two uh, padlocks and put on there so I can leave the weed eater on there, you know, in town or whatever, and hopefully nobody will try to cobble onto it. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the trailer. I added some reflective tape on the front there. Um, I don't plan on painting it this year. Uh, I was planning on painting it and everything, and I thought, you know what, it'll be all right. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it alone, leave it rusty black and call her good. Um, and I got, like I said, the gate and then the lights. I'm gonna work on them. But for all honesty, this thing is a pretty damn good trailer. So kind of glad I picked it up. 
anyhow uh, i'll be looking forward to more videos on the trailer and uh, mowing and stuff like that and we'll catch you all on the next one